Okay, so I don't know if you watched my last video, but basically I made a programming language that converts code into geometry dash levels. And after that video, some of you guys made some really cool stuff with it. So in this video, I just want to show off some of the cool things people have made with this language. So one thing that computer code is really good at is complicated math stuff. And one thing complicated math stuff is really good at is rendering 3D objects. So naturally, a lot of people have made 3D things. For example, here's a spinning 3D donut shape. Now, this would be cool enough on its own, but there's more to it. You see, not only does it make an awesome donut, but the code that generates the donut is also a donut. I love it. Also, there's a cube version too. There are also people that have made scripts that can convert any 3D object into Geometry Dash animations. There have been at least two separate occasions of people making whole OBJ parsers in Spawn, and they have done really cool stuff with them. Here's a really glowy one. Look at that. Anyways, speaking of complicated math stuff, this guy implemented a way to visualize a Fourier transform in GD. Okay, enough math stuff. Time for some video games. Here's a pretty cool platformer made in Spawn. Some people also made remakes of already existing games, like Color Switch and this game. There's also been some work done on converting Pokemon map data to GD, as seen here. Another game that has been made is Conway's Game of Life. And also, tangentially related, someone managed to recreate the Bad Apple music video using Spawn. Okay, back to math. Remember this decimal to binary converter from the previous video? That was actually sped up. In reality, it's pretty slow. Well, this person made a much faster one, and to demonstrate, we will conduct a little race. Both the methods will get the task of converting the number 99,999 to binary. Alright, 3, 2, 1, go! It's already done. Yeah. In the future, we might use this as a replacement for single counters to make math operations extremely fast. By the way, spawn is not just spawn anymore. There's a whole spawn ecosystem now. We have Pickup, a package manager. We also have another competing package manager named Spuck, but we don't talk about that one because it doesn't fit the naming scheme. We have Hollow Player Y, a Discord bot for running spawn code. And we also have Block, which is a scratch-like block programming language version of spawn. Also, another thing, as 2.2 draws closer, spawn gets even more useful. Since the actual triggers behind the code are abstracted away, all your logic will automatically be updated to use new, more effective triggers when the update comes out. The language also makes it easy to make general changes to your project so that you can easily make your level up to date. So, if you're afraid of starting a large project because the update might come out, you might want to use Spawn. Anyways, I'll leave you with this animation, which is also made using Spawn, of course. If you want to join in on the fun, you can install Spawn and join the beta testing server with the links in the description.